Henry's first and second, the Group 1 St. James's Palace stakes still looked top class on paper, and the French 2000 Guineas hero was to establish himself as the best Europe had to offer. And out wide Al Jabba as they cover the first furlong, and Killer Instinct is held up towards the back of the field. And up front is Al Jabba on the outside of Debbie's Warning, Gold Academy, Al Rasam, and then Mujahid from Orpen, Exiat, and Send a War towards the inside. Uh, followed then by a couple of lengths back to Razor Grand and Killer Instinct as they race through the first three furlongs or so and Be the Chief is the back marker. It's Al Jabba just about the leader here in the hands of Frankie de Tor as they head past the halfway stage. And it's Al Jabba from Gold Academy on the inside. Debbie's warning and Al Razama third and fourth. Then Sendawar towards the inside. Mujahid is making a move round horses. Then back to Exiat, Orpen, Killer Instinct, Razor Grand and Be the Chief is tailed off. Making the final turn, it's Al Jabba with Gold Academy Academy now sneaking up his inside as they straighten up for home. Sendawar is moving into third hour as on the outside in the yellow colours. They've kicked away from Mujahid and Razor Grand inside the final quarter mile. Al Jabba now tackled by the Frenchman. Sendawar towards the outside, heading towards the final furlong. Sendawar strikes the front. Al Jabba trying to rally on the far side. Then Gold Academy, Killer Instinct staying on. But Sendawar has the call inside the final hundred yards and he's going to lift the St. James's Palace stakes for France. Sendawar the winner, Al Jabba in second clear of Sendawar Gold Sendawar gives his trainer, Alan de Royer Dupre, his first British winner and the Aga Khan his first Group 1 since the Elysium.